Hi guys, it's Christina from Christina's BTQ and Christina Thrips on Instagram. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm trying to open this. I didn't realize I, it wasn't open. Um, okay, so today I went to Nordstrom Rack. Um, because, BTQ and Christina oh, Thrips shoot. on Instagram. Sorry about that. Left my volume on. But anyways, um, Peach Thrifts on Instagram, she posted about, um, I think last night she went to Nordstrom Rack and she got a bunch of like designer items like she got crazy good stuff she got like st john and um just a bunch of stuff and it was all like 447 each um so i decided to go today to check it out and um yeah so i ended up going i got 36 items and i spent 171 dollars and 14 cents and it says i saved uh four thousand nine hundred and seventy six dollars and ninety cents pretty uh, you can't really see um hey hannah um yeah so it was pretty awesome i was really excited i didn't get any like super crazy finds but i got great stuff to list on ebay and poshmark um so yeah i mean i'll just get into it but so oh yeah so basically the 447 clearance finds they are um i think they're starting to filter into all stores that's kind of what um Peach Thrift said, I think that they're starting to use it as a way to replace penny finds because you know how they uh, penny out an item and then they will, um, I don't know where it goes, like maybe to warehouse sales or something like that. Um, so I think they're trying to put it out on the floor for 447 to give it a chance to sell um, for like the lowest price. And um, yeah, but so I like it because you can get some great stuff for great prices. So anyways, so everything I'm showing you, I paid $4.47. I didn't get anything else besides the $4.47 deal. Um, in this, I'm surprised that she wrapped it all nice because I paid $4 for it. But um, Panda's pick is, yeah, I think it's supposed to be a permanent thing. Um, I think I think it is. I think they're, like, testing it out for now, but I'm pretty sure, like, I'm sure it'll go well. Like, I saw lots of other people with, like, cards full, like, I left a ton of stuff there because there's just too much 447 stuff. Hi, Skunk and Junk Jenny. Now think of it. Oh, you got an Ivy Park workout tee for $5. That's awesome. Um, yes, I did go to the Nordstrom Rack and West Farms. Um, I think that's Farmington. I'm not really sure. Okay, so this is um, a sequin dress. I'm going to try to get it like listed up in time for um, New Year's Eve, but... It's really pretty. I'm sure it's missing a few sequins, um, but it was originally four hundred and sixty dollars, and yeah, four forty-seven. The brand is um, ABS. I don't think I've ever picked this brand up, but I figured I would try it. You know, and it's really pretty, so definitely worth it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm like I'm like 50 minutes or 45 minutes away from my Nordstrom rack, but I just want so I wasn't even sure if they were going to have the 447 deals, but I really wanted to find out, so it was worth worth checking. Oh man, if there's no Nordstrom rack near me, I'd be sad. I kind of just found out about it like like a year ago, honestly. I, I'm pretty sure I learned about it on Instagram. Um and I just love going there because I can get like really nice clothes for myself without having to pay a million dollars. Um, okay, so these are not your daughter's jeans. Um, they are just, what are they? They're size 16. I've never picked up these jeans to sell, but they do well for other people, so it was worth it. Um, worth a shot anyways. I can't find the, what cut they are. Oh, they're the Maryland straight jeans. So I grabbed actually a couple of these. Let's see. This is another pair of Not Your Daughter's jeans. These are a size too petite, and they're also the Maryland straights. So there were actually two of these dresses, but I ended up leaving one because it didn't have the little uh, belt. But the brand is Three Dots, and it's a 2X, so that's awesome. Um, I don't really have a lot of plus size in my store, and I really do need it. So, yeah, um, it's originally 
$149. So I actually grabbed three of these and they're all the same size. So I'm not going to show you them all, but um, these are vineyard vines dresses and they're kind of cute for the holidays. I don't know. They've been at the Nordstrom Rack for a while. They're just like a strapless um, kind of gingham plaid uh, dress. They're originally $198. They're all size 12. I don't know. I figured you really can't go wrong. Um, I did try to be uh, picky about it. Like I wasn't just grabbing any. I tried to leave all the Nordstrom Rack like house brands and stuff like that. Because I didn't want to just have. I'm not even. I wasn't even supposed to go shopping. I'm trying to clear out my inventory before um, this year ends. So to make uh, taking inventory easier for taxes and all that. So I've been running like big sales on my eBay store to get rid of stuff. Um, so these are not your daughter's jeans, um, but they're not jeans. They're like, they feel like pajama pants, but they're not. Um, they are a size six. And I don't know what, I don't know. They're just like flowy pants. Um, oh, another one of those. This totally made me think of the Deal Queen. Um, this is just a Calvin Klein, like, cheetah uh, blazer. I don't know. So it's a size 2. And, yeah, it was originally $119. I'm sure this will do. I'm going to put it um, on Posh, too. I try to put everything on both Posh and eBay, but definitely everything on eBay. Um... Oh, that is, that is sneaky. <laughs> um, organically, Hannah says, I normally sell my inventory on the last day of the year uh, to a family member and buy it back on January 1st. That's funny. <laughs> um, this is just, actually, I think this is a Nordstrom Rack House brand, but I like this brand, and I might keep it. Um, it's called Allie and J, and this was originally $138, but I just like this dress as a size extra small. That's what the tag looks it's like if you could see it but um that brand does decently well for me anyways uh the first jeans I so showed yes they're a size 16. this is I've never picked up this brand but the style alone I really liked um anyways it's like a lace overlay kind of dress the brand is Alexia add more. It's a size extra large. It has this little tag. I've seen it a few times at Nordstrom Rack. Um, but it says it was originally $285. So, might as well, I guess. Um, I might have missed it, but did you ever do a live stream on your product shooting setup? Um, do you mean like how I take my photos and all that? I haven't done that. I literally only do like hauls and what's sold, but I really should do one of those. Maybe I'll do like an edited video put together so it looks better, but I could post about it on Instagram too. Um, these are uh, Levi's 501 like cutoff shorts. Um, yeah, they're size 31. I don't know, they're originally $70, so, um, but the Levi's do well, or like Levi's shorts, these are, um, this is a brand, I've sold these uh, jeans from this brand like twice, and they've done really well, um, I can't say it, so I'm just going to show you it, but that's the brand, um, these, it says that these are originally $27, but I feel like they're usually more, um, I don't know, but I've sold jeans for like $80, um, but they're really nice. I don't know. They're like these little corduroy shorts. They're cute. I figured I would try it, and if not, the great thing is you could always return it, even though it's only $4.47, but still. And actually, let's see what else. So I got two, I got two of those shorts, so I'm not going to show you both of them. And then I got two of these skirts. Um, these are vineyard vines. They're like a little pleated. Is it pleated? Yeah. A pleated skirt. Um, originally $108. 
And this one's a size 8. I'm not sure what the other one is, but yeah. really awesome deal. I wanted to buy this um, one time, like the last time I was there. Um, I never sold this brand before, but I just liked it. It has like a cutout back, which is really nice. It's like a crop top with like a heathered, it's like a black heathered color. I don't know. Um, but it's originally $144. And of course, I played uh, $447. The brand is David Lerner. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But um, it's a medium. But I feel like it runs small. This is another pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans. They're light pink. Um, and they're originally $114. These are the Alina convertible ankle size 12 and I got them because I like the white pink color there were white ones too but I don't know I don't really like having white pants I did grab one of a pair of white pants but I left the not your daughter's jeans ones behind this is um the free people trapeze dress um this just used to be like super popular um it's originally $88 I mean, the hype, I feel like, has gone down. Like, people used to collect every color of this, I remember. But, um, it'll still do well. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I totally didn't even go on Black Friday when they had the extra 30% off. Um, I wanted to, but I just, I'm trying to, like, cut down on the shopping. And I um, just need to really work on getting all my unlisted stuff listed. And... I'm going to try to re-photograph all my, like, really old, ugly listings. Um, okay, so I've never sold this brand. If you have, let me know. Um, it's called Privacy, Please. I don't know. I don't know about it, It's but it's this really pretty. It's a wrap dress. I probably should have wrapped it before. But it's a maxi dress. Um, I don't know. It was so cute. The floral. Um, it's nice. I don't know. What it is. Oh, it's originally $238. So, I don't know. I've never heard of the brand, but the style was really nice, and it has a little tie. Mm -mm. Oh, and this is probably something I'm just keeping. Um, it's Free Press, which I'm pretty sure is like a house brand to Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. So, it was only originally like $25. But it's just like a little bodysuit, and it's cute. So, I'm going to get to that. This is a free people dress. I'm not really in love with it or the print or anything, but for $447, it's new, new with the original free people tag, which is good. Um, it was originally $98. I mean, even if I sell it for like $20, $25, that's awesome. This is another Vineyard Vines dress. This one's a size 6, um, originally $148. Um, it's strapless as well, um, but it's like heavy weight kind of, and it's textured and stuff like that. So if you go to Nordstrom Rack, if you look at like all the white pants almost are on sale, and all like the summery dresses are on sale, um, like all the out of season stuff, look for that. I put, I bet you'll find a lot of the 447 in like the out of season. Um. Do you list things as new with tags, even if it just has the Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack tag? So if the Nordstrom Rack tag um, or, like, the Nordstrom tag is, like, marked down too far, you know what I mean? Like, too far where people will be like, oh, well, you paid this. Like, I, I don't want to, like, I should pay less than that or something. I'll cut it off, and I'll just mark it as new without tags. Um, a lot of summary stuff. Will you hold on to it or uh, list it? I'm just going to list it all because, you know, people might be going on vacation or something. I don't know. I'd rather just have it listed because maybe it could sell. Uh, and I don't want to, like, forget about it. I don't know. I just like to have everything listed. Um, so this is really pretty. Somebody could totally wear this as, like, a Christmas dress if they're somewhere warm. But it's Eliza J and had just, like, a little back tie. Um... Well, as a jade is decent. I wouldn't have picked it up if it was more than this 447 or whatever. 
It's originally uh, three hundred and thirty-eight dollars, um, but it was cute, so I grabbed it. I think it was a size four. Oh, another one of those, the vineyard vine skirt, but this one's a twelve. This is oh, I, I love this. This is um, Rebecca Minkoff, which I was really excited when I saw this. This is like one of my favorite plants I found. Um, so it's just like a little gray eyelet kind of dress. Um, originally $240. It's a size zero, but I don't, honestly, I don't even look at sizes when deciding whether or not I want to buy something. Because all sizes need clothes, all shoe sizes need shoes. So I just grabbed it. I actually have one of these dresses in stock already. This is an Eliza J dress as well, but I really like the drop hem or drop waist, I mean, and like these little, it's got like little ruffly sleeves. Um, this is a size 12. I'm not sure what the other one I have is, but they're originally $158. So that is awesome. Um, another one, pair of those shorts. A little quarter shirt. Um, this is a free people maxi dress, I believe. Yeah, definitely long enough to be a maxi dress. Um, so this was originally uh, $128, and this is their intimately free people line, which looks like that. It doesn't really say free people big, so. Sometimes people might not know. And the last bag of stuff. I got 36 items total. I think I said that. So actually this is funny. I had a pair of these Eileen Fisher jeans, like this same exact pair, but um, I got it at the thrift store and it was in my death pile for like ever. And then I finally listed it the other day and it sold, they sold immediately. And then I found them again. And yeah, they're originally $178 and I got them for four dollars They're just like these, I think they're straight jeans. I hope they are because that's what I listed, I just listed them as last time. Wait. This is Sundry, Sundry. Um, I, they sell this at Anthropology sometimes. Um, this is just like a raw hem tank. This is the tag. And this would be cute for 4th of July or something, but I'm just going to list it now and see if it sells. Um, it's originally $62. This is a Free People one shoulder like tank, and it has this little tie detail. I don't know. Um, but it was originally $78. And it's the little metal tag. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is like the nicest Eliza J dress I think I got today. So I'm pretty sure this is plus size. Oh uh, yeah, it's a 16W. And it's like a navy blue lace um, dress. And it is really cute. It was originally $138. But yeah. I'm trying to get bigger sizes for my closet too. I mean, I get all sizes, but I like never find bigger sizes, I think. So... When I see it, I try to grab it. A lot of Vince Camuto was um, for 447 but I decided to be picky, and I only got this one. Wait. Where's, oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, this is like an off-the-shoulder pink lace dress, or top. It's a petite extra small, but it was originally $109, and it's really pretty. I feel like this was sell on Poshmark first. I don't know. Um, both of course. I just like panicked because I thought my most favorite find was missing, but actually, there's a few things left in this bag that I forgot about. Um, would it be worth it to call a Nordstrom Rack and ask if they have four dollars and forty-seven cent tags out on the floor? I don't know if they would tell you. Some Nordstrom Rack, like some employees, are more. Like, they want you to get the deal, but some, like, the lady who was ringing me out, she, like, was questioning, um, she, like, called her manager and asked, like, are these all supposed to be 447? 
But um, I mean, it's worth a shot. You could see if they like did mark. You could ask if they did markdowns. Um, I just went. It was forty five minutes away. But um, if yours is like really far, you might as well just call and check. I mean, the worst thing they could say is like, "I'm not going to tell you" or something. I don't think they would do that. Um, is there something else? You're happy that I'm listing bigger sizes. Yeah, I need to find more. I just don't find them that often. Um, but they definitely sell better for other people anyways. Um, but I'm just not used to finding them all that often. So this is a T by Tahari um, skirt. It was our $118 originally. It's really pretty um, floral lace kind of thing. Ugh, the light's not working for showing the tags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a Bailey 44. I'm not a big fan of like how the ombre goes, but somebody out there will be. Um, Bailey 44 is a brand that does really well for me. This is originally $218. It's a size four. Um, that's what this tag looks like. They have a few other tags. They have like a long, um, tan tag that will say Bailey 44 going down it. Um, that's the one I usually find, but I think this must be like the newer tag or something. So this is the pair of white pants that I got. Um, they're theory though, which is why I was willing to grab them. Um, they are a size 12. They're like great career pants. Um, their size, I mean, they're originally $265. And I mean, they're just, just pants she'll wear to work or something. They're stretchy and nice. Um, two more things. So this is ECI New York. I don't know if I've ever sold this brand. I'm not sure if this brand is great. Yes, they're everything only $5. Amazing, right? I can't believe it. Um, yeah, so this is what the tag looks like. I don't know. Um, let's see what it originally, it retails for $138, but the thing is, it is just so cute. It's such a cute style. Um, it has like the little seersucker and then embroidered flowers on it. I just really like this dress. So I just wanted to put it in my store. Cause somebody out there will love it. Even if I don't make a million dollars on it, somebody will like it. I know it. And this is my favorite find and my last find. Um, when I found this, I was like, yes. Um, it's Alice and Olivia. And it's the green is like, this. it's so nice. It's got this little, I can't even capture how like nice the green is. It's like a really true green. But I don't know. I kind of want to wear it for like Christmas or something. But it's so cold here. I live in Connecticut and it's, it'll be too cold. <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, 447 for this. I don't know what it was originally because I think this was a return. So it doesn't have the original Alice and Olivia tag, um, which is a bummer, but like their dresses retail around like $300 for like a basic kind of dress, I think. Um, yeah, so it's a size small. I'll probably list it for sale because I don't know when I'll wear it, but it's so pretty. It's a cold shoulder little mini dress so cute yes i hope that like other people found deals i i posted about it like as soon as i started i got to nordstrom rack and i realized that there are the 447 deals so i made a post saying like go to your nordstrom rack and a few people have said they found some and a few people have said they haven't so not all stores may have the 447 deals out yet but, I mean, it's worth a shot to go check if you're near a Nordstrom Rack. Um, so, yeah, that's my whole haul. That was 36 items for $171.14. And definitely, I feel like I can make that back on maybe two, like, the two best items. Or even three or four. But still, there's still 32 if I, uh, even after that. So, it's awesome. Go check out your Nordstrom Rack if you have one near you. And I hope that they, like, really keep this going. Um, 
so that they do this instead of just like pennying out the items and sending them away. Because I will buy them for four forty seven. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, like and subscribe this if you or subscribe if you want. Um, but you can find me on Instagram, Christina Thrifts. That's where I post like all my helpful reselling tips or whatever. And yeah, and my Instagram boutique is Christina's BTQ. And some of this will go on there. Um, thanks, guys. Bye.